look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. يقاتل المسلمون اليهود فيقتلهم المسلمون فيختبئ اليهود وراء الحجر والشجر فينادي الحجر والشجر قائلا يا مسلم يا عبد الله هذا يهودي خلفي تعالى فاقتل إلا الغرقد فإنه من شجر اليهود and you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life you are Hello everybody, welcome, God bless. I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope my sound is loud and clear. Welcome. <clears throat> How is everybody? I'm having a wonderful day, guys. That means all of you must have a wonderful day. I know it's very early in some parts of the world and a lot of people are asking me when are you going to do live shows uh, Rob Christian um, you know lately I've been start thinking uh, and I've been doing some research about what time suits everybody uh, I know that uh, people like uh, Christian Prince and others do it uh, in a different time period. So I think, uh, let me do a time period, choose a time period for our Asian friends. And I've been looking around and I found out that this is one of the best time periods for our Asian friends, people uh, from Indonesia, Malaysia, so i know you know we cannot always please everybody uh you know this maybe in parts of europe uh, you know people are maybe you know it's, it might be too early uh maybe in, uh, in parts of the united states is too early but you know it is what it is i know a lot of our friends in the middle east uh in asia they need they need the truth guys especially in a country like Indonesia, which is the largest Muslim country. So they need it there much more than anywhere, right? Yeah. So guys, uh, yeah, what time, uh, African Christian, what time is it in Africa at your place at the moment? Don't, don't tell anyone where you're from, but what time is it now? For me, uh, you know, it's very early, you know, here, but I hope it's not too early in Africa right now. I have no idea what the time there is at your place. Okay, someone says in Indonesia is now 7.34. Okay, well, that's, that's a good time then, Mark. We picked a very good time for Indonesia. Okay, 3.34 p.m. Well, that's, that sounds good too, right? Especially in the weekends. Yeah, so I think this this is a good time, guys, that I really chose, you know, because I know uh, others do it on on different uh, timetables or periods. So I think it, I think this is good, especially for the people in Indonesia, Malaysia, and uh, such countries that really need the truth. They need our teaching. They are actually begging us. They are sending us so many messages please Rob please we need your teaching you have no idea how many messages I get guys sorry if I cannot answer all the messages because they are overwhelming guys uh, but we hear you okay we hear you we read your messages but we don't always have the time to answer all the questions all right guys so thank you for joining in let me say hi to Hafsa for Christ Phil Herrera John Racha, Max Copper, Lasari, Danny, Green Tea, Red Prophet, Ian Randall, Angeli, Roy, Shirley. Hello, sister. How are you? Max already mentioned your name. African Christian, we mentioned your name too before. El Bano Dit Le Perrin. Okay, well, that's a difficult name. I think you're from France, right? Bonjour. Bonjour, mon ami. <laughs> 
Avaika, Mark, hello everybody, there are many people uh, who are here, thank you for joining in, God bless you, God bless your families. Before we start guys, I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so we'll be guided through today's live show, and Lord willing, the stream will be healthy too. Please Lord, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience. Lord, thank you for your grace and thank you for the amazing last month, especially the last year, Lord. Thank you so much for this very beautiful and lovely audience and subscribers who kept supporting us day in day out for this last year please bless them and bless their families lord please god keep us all of us all of us healthy and safe in 2020 father please enfold us in your arms <clears throat> help us not to lean on our own understanding but in everything acknowledge you lord so that you can direct our words thoughts and action Give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement any taqiyya, any makr, any deception or any doubt, Lord. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit today and loosen my tongue so I can speak the truth to my audience without any error, Lord, or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord. Only and only the truth will prevail, Lord. Lord, give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Guys, on this live broadcast, we will have the opportunity to investigate some facts in Islam and I actually didn't pick a real topic today. We'll go through some things, guys, through some sources, and prove to you why any Muslim should actually leave Islam. Why should you be a Muslim in 2020 still? Why? Give me one good reason, Muslims. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, as always, we will have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat. If you are a Christian, guys, please don't call me yet. Please don't call me yet. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to call us, call me when the teaching is done, guys, okay? If we have Muslims, on the other hand, if we have an Ustaz, maybe Fifi or Mimi or Lili, you can always call us directly through the live teaching. We are live on air. I will open my Skype for the Muslims, guys. So only the Muslims can call me for now. If we're out of Muslims and the teaching is done, you can call me as a Christian, okay? My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Now I know Muslims don't dare to do live shows like we do, and they especially don't dare to open Skype. Because you know what will happen if you are Fifi <laughs> and you will open up Skype for the Christians to call you and debate you, you will know what will happen to you, right? So this is why Muslim apologists don't open Skype and do live shows like us. Aha! Now I understand. Finally, man! Finally, I understand why Farid, Muhammad Hijab, or Ali Dawa don't do what we do. I mean, if you have the truth, you are a follower of the truth, you should not be ashamed of the truth, right, Muslims? Where are your Muslim heroes? Why are they not doing what we do? CP, it doesn't say that, CP, CP. Uh, Lord of mercy. So, you know, 
leaving Islam. Why should you leave Islam, guys? Why should you leave Islam? Today's uh, <clears throat> live show, like always, is sponsored by Brother Zekir Naik. Brother makes a good point. And Brother Fifi, who is the main sponsor of today's live show. Right? Now, before we start, I want to say this to our beloved audience and brethren in Christ. For the heavyweight championship of the world. Are you ready? Wrestling fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from the capital city of the United States of America, Washington, D.C., ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Well, are you ready? Are you ready? I know I'm ready. That means you must be ready, guys. Come on. What's, what's that, man? <laughs> are you ready, people? <laughs> Someone says round one fight. Dude, this is this, this ain't Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, man. What's wrong with you, Christians? <laughs> Do you have any Muslim guys? Do you have any Muslim? Any any Mohammedan here? No Mohammedans yet? I mean we are live on air. And you know, you can call us and you can end our careers, brother. Maybe you can end my career. Maybe you can end my career and I finally can shave my two feet long mustache after 15 years, man. I promise you, I promise you, if you can end my career and you can refute me after 15 years, you, I will, I will open the cam. I will open my cam and I will shave my two feet long mustache in front of everybody, brother. Guys, I'm getting a phone call. Just a second, okay? Just one second. All right, guys, sorry for that. I had to take that call. <clears throat> yeah, two feet long mustache, guys. I mean, um, you know, finally, uh, I will have time for other things. I mean, come on, man. Do you think I'm doing this uh, uh, for fun or uh, we are doing this, guys, not for ourselves. If I, you know, if I was doing this for myself, guys, the, the work that we do, Every week, every week, every day, day in, day out. Oh, I'm getting a call. Okay, let's see. Hello, you're live on air. Hello. Yeah, hello, welcome. Are you a Christian, my friend, or a Muslim? Uh, sorry? Are you a Christian or a Muslim? No, I just uh, become Christian. You became a Christian? Yeah. Okay, and, and what what were you before? Were you a Muslim? Were you an atheist? What kind of person were you? Muslim. You're Muslim. a Muslim, okay. Can you tell everybody why, why you left Islam and became a Christian, my friend? I'm really interested in your story. Go ahead. Uh, because I don't see anything, sign or signal. 
Yeah, like, okay. I don't believe. Okay, yeah, and and why why what was your final what was your final uh, uh, point? What was your final thing that made you actually leave Islam? What was that most important thing that you saw that made you leave Islam? Because we are really interested in stories of uh, Muslims who uh, leave Islam and become Christians. Go ahead, my friend. Your life on air. Everybody can hear. Mm. Hello. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. Um, who, who, who. Hmm. Oh, I lost this brother. Uh, that's that's unfortunate. Um, you know, I we're really interested in stories of ex-Muslims who leave Islam and become Christians. Uh, guys, I told you before we started, I told you if you're a Christian, please don't call me. But, you know, this is what it is. Uh, maybe he can call us later. Uh, my friend, can you call me after we are done the teaching? If you're only, a, if you're a Muslim, please call me. Okay, you are allowed to call me if you're a Muslim. But if you're a Christian, please don't call me right now. Call me when the live Q&A starts. Yeah, okay, in the end. All right, guys. I'm really, I'm really happy for you that you left this man-made cult called Islam and you became a Christian. I respect your decision, my friend. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That there are actually Muslims who think for themselves and leave this man-made cult still. And Muslims say, you know, Islam is the fastest growing religion, which is a lie. Right, guys? According to Al Jazeera, which is the number one news channel, in the Arabic world, Al Jazeera, 17,000 Muslims a day, 17,000 Muslims a day leave Islam. And they dare to claim Islam is the fastest growing religion. My friend, that's more than 6 million Muslims, more than 6 million Muslims leave Islam every year. That's a huge number, my friend. So actually, it's the fastest shrinking man-made religion. It's certainly not the fastest growing one. And on top of that, converts to Islam actually leave Islam in two years. In two years, if a Muslim, if a Christian or an atheist becomes a Muslim, in two years he will leave. Those are the real numbers, my friend. Those are the real facts of your fastest shrinking, fake, man-made cult called Islam. Man. Take a beer, Muslims. Yeah, actually, that's that's correct, Max Copper. Take a beer, Allahu Akbar, for this fastest shrinking religion, right, Fifi? Uh, Fifi talks like Fifi. Right, Fifi? CP? It doesn't say that, CP. Mm. I love that voice, guys. Guys, as I told you, I really didn't pick any topic today. You know, I, I wanted to have a nice Q&A uh, thing, you know. Uh, normally, I always pick a or stick with a topic, you know. But today, I wanted to change it. It's weekend and, you know. Thank you, Radical Love. God bless you, sister. So, maybe you noticed, guys, I, yesterday I was really busy and I could not do any live show or upload videos. So I was like, hey, let me throw some things out. Let me make this bigger, guys, for you to see. I hope it's big enough. Let me try. Okay. So I chose to, you know, I think it's really interesting what I did yesterday. Uh, you know, I use the community community uh, comment thing that, uh, you know, YouTube allows us to do as contact, content creators, right? So I put this message on. I, moved, I put this message on, guys, 21 hours ago. You know, just for fun, you know. And I received a huge amount of comments. I was really shocked, actually, that people really love this. 
and look, eh, it's a good number, you know, good number of this uh, of likes. It's never enough, you know. You know how YouTube works, because upvoting stuff, upvoting comments, or upvoting videos is really an important thing nowadays in YouTube. So, guys, always make sure to not forget to destroy the like button when you see our videos or. So I put this guys <clears throat> on YouTube and we received a lot of comments and it, it was really positive. I was shocked. So I, 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 I you know, I, I did this for fun. So I said the following. If you're a Muslim, you know, and you're using Ahmadidat tactics that Ahmadidat used <laughs> 35 years ago, this is Ahmadidat who invented this stuff. So I, I know if you're a Muslim, you say, look, look, look in Matthew 26, in the gospel of Matthew 26, verse 39, it says Jesus fell on his face and prayed, brother. Look, 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 Jesus is a Muslim, brother. Jesus is a Muslim, brother. Brother, Jesus is a Muslim. So I, you know, if you're a Christian, you you know your scripture, you're a Christian, you will you will respond with this comment. A, any normal trained Christian, you know, who is into ap apologetics, you should ask the Muslim, not, not trust any, any comment from a Muslim. Always make sure to go back to, to your own scripture. When they quote a scripture, always go to your Bible. Open up your Bible. Go to BibleHub.com. Go to BibleGateway.com to make sure if the verse that they are talking about, if they don't actually remove, you know, couple of dots, you know, they put couple of dots, they don't quote the whole verse, right? Do you know, guys, do you remember Merciful Servant YouTube channel? That huge YouTube Muslim channel, guys. Remember what they did with uh, Isaiah 42 uh, verse 13. They removed the name of the Lord, right? The Lord and they put three dots, ellipsis, right? They put an ellipsis, th which means three dots. And they removed the Lord, the name of our holy God. And they try to deceive their Muslim audience saying, this is talking about Muhammad, brother. So never, guys, pay attention. If you love your God like you, I love my God, guys, never. Never, never in your life trust any source that Muslims post for you. Always make sure to go check it before you even try to start the debate with a Muslim. So go and see what Matthew 26, 39, for example, actually says. So as a Christian, you should respond. Abdul, read the rest of the verse, Abdul. That's not what the whole verse is saying. Muslim respond will be, okay, let's see. Let me read the entire verse. Going a little farther, he, Jesus, fell on his face and prayed, saying, my father. So a Muslim, if you're a sincere Muslim, you'll be shocked. My father? Oh, wait, Jesus calls God his father? Allah in Islam is certainly not a father to anyone, right? <laughs> so when you Muslims pray and you fall on your face, are you actually praying to God the Father? Brother? Brother? Do you pray to the God the Father, brother? So... As a Christian, you should respond with, is Allah of the Quran father of mankind? Is he father of mankind? Allah. The Muslim will answer, no, never, brother. Allah is not father to anyone, brother. Okay, that means you're already busted. So you're, you're actually showing us that your Allah is not the same God of the Holy Bible. Your Allah doesn't command you to follow an Abrahamic religion because Abraham called his God father and Allah is not father to anyone brother. So as a final answer from you as a Christian to spank this Abdul who quotes 
a verse like Matthew 26, verse 39, your answer should be, thank you, brada. Moon idol Allah cannot be the same God of the Bible. And Islam, that means Islam, is certainly not an Abrahamic religion. I rest my case, brother. Bam! Right? This is how to deal with uh, Ahmadi dad, 35 year old nasty tactics, evil tactics. So guys, never ever trust any source, even if it's a biblical source, never trust it with a Muslim when he gives it to you. Always go back, go and read a couple verses before, couple verses after to understand what the context is and see if they are actually posting the entire verse, right? And spank them, use anything a Muslim says, use them, use it against them in the court of law, like I just did. So guys, I gave this, you know, just for, as an example for fun, to teach you guys, to train you. I did this to train you how to do polemics. This is a very good example of polemics, guys. Apologetics polemics, right? Exactly, uh, as Music Learner says in the chat, guys, apologetics means defense, but you need to learn polemics too, which is using defense as attack. You know, use your knowledge, use the truth as an attack. So whenever they use anything against you, use it against them in the court of law. Turn it around, guys. You see how I easily turn it around? Yeah, sword and shield. Exactly, Red Prophet. Learn from this, guys. Train yourself with this example. All right? I, you are showing us that you, are, you Muslims pray like Jesus prays. But brother, Jesus prayed to his Lord and he called his Lord Father. Right? Do you, when you pray to God, do you call him Father? Certainly not. Never, brother. So there you go. That means Islam is not an Abrahamic religion. And you are a worshiper of a different and a fake God. Because our God is Father to mankind. Bam! Right? Right, guys? I hope you learned from this. Now, there's a Muslim lady. Her name is Naima Bless. Naima Bless. She again mentions a verse from John 2017. And she's quoting this. Look, guys, how I'm using it against her. She, tr she thought she had actually a point. Look, guys. Jesus said, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. So God is not father only to Jesus. And notice, please, how Jesus said he is a God. He has a God. Oh, anyone with sounding reasoning? Oh, hear, oh, Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord is one. Jesus said, our God. Jesus has a God. A brother, brother, brother. Hey, brother, Islam is the truth, brother. And look, look, Jesus has a God, brother. But wait a second. Look, so here, <laughs> here, guys, I look how I'm responding and spanking this lady. Naima, bless. Good. Thank you for bringing up the gospel of John. Thank you so much. I love it when you do that. So guys, don't see it immediately. Don't start to hesitate, guys. Learn. Learn how to deal with this kind of objections. So I said to her, now let us see if you will run or are you going to answer my question? All right? Is Allah father to mankind, brother? If yes, Right? If yes, show me the ayah from the Quran. Right? If you claim that Allah is Father, 
to mankind as John 20 verse 17 says, right? Jesus calling God in heaven his father, right? So show me one ayah from the Quran where Allah is father. Good challenge. If the answer is going to be no, if Allah is not a father to mankind, that means your Allah is not God of the Holy Bible. Allah is actually Satan. Muhammad is the prophet and agent of Satan. And Islam is a satanic cult. So pick and choose. Are you going to say yes or no, brother? Um, Abdul Halik, this is ultimate uh, fart. I don't want to take ultimate fart call. Abracadabra is ultimate shirk, right? He has more names than uh, the names of Allah, brother. Allah has 99 names. This guy is more powerful than his Allah. He has more than 99 names. So, you know, don't, don't waste your time with this kid. So uh, then I told, told her, Naima bless, hello. Please, next time, say three times, inshallah, before trying to comment again. And then she replied, look guys, I hope she said inshallah. Sure, brother Rob, first of all, you just called Muhammad and Allah liars, and you spanked Allah and Muhammad because how am I your brother in Islam, brother? You're calling me brother now as a Muslim? Hmm. She just called her Allah and prophet liars for saying that we are actually Najis. Can you call a mushrik Najis your brother in Islam, brother? Certainly not. So she here she spanked her Allah. But I'll stick to one inshallah. <laughs> so she said inshallah. Good, good. She said inshallah. <laughs> Trinity is your thing. Let's see if she's going to answer the question. Anyway, I'm curious how the term father is understood in Christian, Christian mentality. I mean, do you actually think of it as a bit? Look, 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 look. Look uh, what kind of knowledge people, knowledge Muslims we are dealing with. Biological manner, brother. So according to, she doesn't know, I am talking to a Muslim lady who doesn't know that Jesus being the son of the father, is not a biological or you know bisexual intercourse these people are so deluded they have no idea what christian basic christian teaching is right so she is asking me is about is it biological brother or is it metaphor brother <laughs> because if that's the case then jesus is not the only one that called god the father can you show me who, someone else in Islam, who, who did that? She's still not answering the question. Where's my answer? I want, I demanded an answer from her. And then she goes, all kind. where is my answer? I asked you a simple question. Is Allah father to mankind? Yes or no? If yes, show me the ayah from the Quran. If no, that means your Allah is not God of the Holy Bible. Allah is Satan. And Muhammad must be the prophet of Satan, the agent of Satan, and Islam is a satanical. So where's my answer? Only blah, blah. She gives me a newspaper. Then again, I told her. So your answer is basically no. You said, and I quoted a part where she said that, the almighty God did not father anyone. So that's what she said here above, right? Right? The Almighty F God did not father anyone. Do you see it? Including Adam and Jesus. So that's the part that I quoted, guys, from what she said. So you said, and I quote, the Almighty God did not father anyone. So I told her, thank you for proving to everybody. Guys, are you still with me? Thank you for proving to everybody that Islam is not Abrahamic. You follow a different God than the real Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because their God called Father. I'm not sure why my text is not showing the rest of my text, but you'll get the idea. Maybe because I made it bigger. Anyway. So not the whole text is showing for some reason. So basically because their God, they, because they call their God Father. 
So she then answering me says, yes, and I repeat, yes, God is not biological father of anyone. Look at this amazing knowledge, brother. Who is talking about biological, brother? Did I say biological? Let me scroll back. Did I ask her about biological? Is Allah father to mankind? Yes, no, simple question, man. Why are you bringing sex always? Even the Muslim ladies, she's a Muslim, all right, guys? Even the Muslim ladies need to bring up sexual intercourse. Brother. So not only men in Islam love to talk about sex. You see, the proof is in front of you. Muslim women loves to bring sexual intercourse into the mix. Yeah, she's stuck in the, with the biological thing, brother. Did you he see me anywhere say, mention the word biological? <laughs> Always sex. Brother, when Muslims start to sleep, you know, this, the, the, the button, the switch of sexual intercourse turns on, right? Sexual intercourse on, right? You stupid lady. Sorry, I'm not trying to insult anyone, but you're a stupid lady. And, and continue and give me an entire text. <sighs> then she's talking about somewhere here metaphorical, brother. Many scholars, she says, many scholars. What, what scholars? Muslim scholars. I challenge you to give me one Muslim scholar who conclude that the, the terms God as father and son of God are metaphorical. You liar. You, you have no shame. Naima, if you are listening, you have no shame, you have no honor, you have no dignity for lying about your scholars. Show me one Muslim scholar to the Muslims who are listening. Show me one Muslim scholar who claims in Islam that Allah is father or Allah is sons. One Muslim scholar, please. Yeah, it sounds like a bed, a thousand dollar bed. <laughs> Scholars like you, Naima? Yes, Peter, you see? You see how they need to tap dance and lie, my friends? Do you see with the, the moment they feel the heat, right? And she's still not answering my question. It was a yes or no question, right? Where is my answer, man? Anyway, then I, uh, you know. Then I addressed her and said, Naima bless. Yes. And this was my final answer to her, guys. Well, one second ago. Okay. Yes, everything in Islam becomes metaphorical, brother, the moment you bust yourself and you fake God Allah. Both Jews and Christians, including all the true prophets like Abraham, Right? Like Moses, call their God Father. All the Jews and all the Christians, including all the true prophets, call their God Father. Yet only Momo, Molly, Muhammad, and the Mohammedans like yourself run from this disaster and actually prove, again, for some reason the text is not showing, actually prove to everybody that... Islam is certainly not, not an Abrahamic religion, right? You are actually proving to everybody here that Allah is not father to mankind. Muhammad contradicted all the prophets, including Abraham, Moses, and so on and so on, who called God their heavenly father. You see, guys, metaphorical, brother, everything becomes metaphorical the moment you are busted. The moment you start to feel the heat in your neck as a Muslim Mohammedan, everything becomes metaphorical, brother. Right? Guys, please train yourself, train yourselves with this kind of method of debating, guys. You see how easy it is? You see how easy I make it sound, guys? It's really not uh, science, guys. 
It's really not science to train yourself like this. Don't immediately go to the Bible verses and whatnot. Guys, use, use polemics. Learn how to do polemics. It's, you know, train yourself at least. Don't immediately go when the moment she, she, uh, a Muslim quotes a biblical verse, like Isaiah, you know, just a second. Use common sense, guys. Train yourselves. Learn from this, guys. This is why I put this in the first place, right, guys? Yesterday. To teach you, to train you. No, uh, Devendra, you're not very late. Welcome. Invite your friends. Welcome to our live show. We are live. Muslims can call us. Right? Muslims can call us if they think they have the knowledge and the courage to refute us. So guys, I hope you learned from this. Right? I hope you took notes. Right? You should be the one to dictate the debate. The moment you're giving out the lead from your hands, right? You give them the lead to control you. That means it's over. It's over for you. Always make sure to be the one in command, to be the one to lead the debate. Right? The moment you allow them to take the lead, it's over. The debate, you already lost the debate, guys. I kid you not. So, polemics is training, guys. Polemics is like training, training yourself. Like, uh, let's say you go to a job interview, right? To a job interview, you want to look for a new job, right? It's also training, right? You need to do some research, uh, look what kind of company you're going to apply for, what, what job uh, you're going to apply for. You need to do some training at least a couple days ahead, right? I mean, if you go blindly into a job interview and you sit there and you can't even answer one question and you're going to say, uh, 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 you know, 100% they will not take you, right? So polemics is training. It's really training. I, I know maybe it's maybe easy for... You know, for me or from Christian Prince side, because we are doing this for many years, right? But polemics, guys, is training. You need to train. So you need to know your Bible very good, right? And use it against them in the court of law. The moment they start to talk about anything, use it against them. Turn it around, guys, and take the lead. Because Muslims actually never read the Bible. They go to ahmadida.com, they go to zakarnaik.com and they quote a verse without any knowledge or clue and they start to post it like this, right? Brother, look, 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 Jesus fell on his face and prayed, look, look, Jesus is an Abdul, brother. But wait, yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul, read the entire verse. What does the entire verse says? And the moment he starts to read, he already feels the heat. Right? Let's see, going a little farther. Uh, uh, Jesus fell on his face, prayed, saying, my father. Oh, oops, oops. Oh, man. I just, I just spanked myself. Allah is certainly not my father. <laughs> so here, this here already, you know, the Muslim starts to feel the heat. You know, so, you know, he's not going to say that to you. This part is not going to say it, but deep in his heart, he already knows he's spanked. Here, from here, here on, the, the Muslim already starts to feed the eel, right? You will hear from his way of breathing, the way of, you know, talking, right? How dare you? How dare you to quote a verse showing everybody that actually... Our God is our Heavenly Father, but at the same time, you're trying to prove that this is Allah, but telling everybody Allah is not a father, so you are going to have a cake and eat it too, Muslims. Right? Then, guys, I had so many, I had so much fun yesterday, guys, and I was like, hey, I'm, re I'm receiving a lot of messages, uh, you know, a lot of beautiful comments from our beloved audience. You know, even without doing a video, we look, this was 
16 hours ago. So this was my second uh, community message, guys. So this is a community message. Like, look, as a content creator, I can put community messages, as you see. So this was my second one to train you guys, right? To train you. I'm not doing this for myself, guys. We're here to serve you. I am here to serve, guys. You don't need me. I'm just someone who serves you, okay? You need Jesus. I need Jesus. You don't need me. But if I can serve you guys, I will. If I can show you and teach you about the truth, I will. I made this my mission, guys. <clears throat> so my second community message was, now here is the one million dollar question, brada. I know Abdul Halik, brada. Abdul Halik, and Tahon. I know you love challenges, brada. <laughs> Where is Abdul Halik? Abdul Halik, are you listening? Okay, Abdul Halik, look, this is another challenge, brada. Are you going to add another thousand dollars, brada? <laughs> Now here is the one million dollar question. To who does Allah pray when Allah prays, brother? Allah prays, brother? Yes, Allah prays over and over in the Quran, brother. Yeah, and Muhammad Hijab said, Allah prays for, not two. That's what the translators have added. It's four, it's not two. But Allah prays, yes, Allah prays. Yes, Mimi, hey, Allah praise, brother. Okay, thank you, Mimi Hijab. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. As you said in the in that debate with uh, David Wood, brother, Allah praise. So Allah still praying. Yes, Allah you salli, brother. So if you go to Quran, as I mentioned in the community message, Quran chapter 33, ayah 43, he, Allah, it is who praise you salli. Salah. The verb is yusalli. Salah is the noun and the verb is yusalli. So Allah is praying. Allah prays for you and his angels pray too. I mean, I understand that angels pray, but when Allah prays, to who does Allah pray, brother? Yeah, and Mimi Hijab, guys, he said Allah praises the Prophet. So are you saying Allah is praying to Muhammad? Yes, brother, because Hamd, Hamd, i.e. praise, Alhamdulillah normally, right? Alhamdulillah faqat. But here, when Muhammad Hijab said, when he returned from Africa, right, he started to hide in Africa immediately after that debate with David Wood. He went to Africa. And then he came back to London, right? He said, no, no, I meant to say Allah praises the Prophet. But wait a second. Quran, chapter 1, ayah 2. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So, alhamd, praising, is only for Allah. So, are you saying again that Allah, when he prays, he's praying to Muhammad? Yes, brother. Yeah, faqat means only, right? Alhamdulillah, faqat. So, how is Allah praising? How is Allah doing hamd to the Prophet? Allahu alam, brother, said Muhammad Hijab. So, Allah, you salli for you. He, Allah is praying for you and his angels are praying for you to bring you forth out of darkness into the light. For he is the merciful to the believers. Brother, Allah prays? Yes, Allah prays. So, from a different source, guys, Tafsir for chapter Quran 33, Tafsir for 33, ayah 56 of Ibn Kathir, translation, the people of Israel, right, the Bani Israel said to Moses, Musa, that's how they call him, does your, guys pay attention, this is even more worse, alright, this one is even more worse, does your Lord pray? This is Allah, right? This is still Allah. This is not God of the Bible, guys. This is Allah, right? Because this is Quran, Tafsir of the Quran, chapter 33, ayah 56, by Ibn Kathir. The Ibn Kathir, right? So the people, the Bani Israel, said to Moses, they are asking Moses, Does your Lord pray, Musa? His Lord call, called him, so 
Allah called Musa, Moses, O oh Moses, they who the Bani Israel asked you if you if your Lord prays. Right now, he Allah is the one talking, guys. Guys, pay attention. Allah is the one talking. Allah is the one talking. So Allah says, Allah is now the one talking. Say to them, to who do, to the Bani Israel, to the people of Israel, right? The children of Israel, say to them, Yes, I do pray, and my angels pray upon my prophets, brother. So you're praying, brother. Yes, brother. So does Allah actually pray Muslims? Yes. The people of Israel said to Moses, Does your Lord pray? His Lord Allah called him saying, O Moses, O Musa, they asked you if your Lord prays. Say to them, Yes, I do pray. So we showed you from two sources, guys, that Allah actually prays. But the one million dollar question was, I want an answer. I demand an answer, Muslims. When Allah prays, to who does Allah pray? Any Muslim? Brother, any Muslim? There was a guy again in the ch here under a Muslim Abdul who tried out his luck with me. Let's see if I can find him. Look how many messages we get, bro. Think it was this guy, this big M virus. I think this is, is this is that free guy. I don't know. He has many names. So this this Abdul here, he's trying to to test my Arabic, guys. So really, you see, he starts to post stuff in Arabic. So he's try he's trying to tell me to ask me, oh, wait, what are these things? So I I thought you know we are not scared to answer questions, right? So I told him this big M virus. I said potato. Potato, 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 potato. Are you testing my Arabic, brother? Right? Are you testing my Arabic? Joker? No problemo, brother. No problemo. I will answer. Right? I will answer your question. Dua A Dua is invocation, like, oh God, please hear me, right? It's an act of worship because you're actually invoking your God. It's an act of worship, right? Salah, B, Salah, is prayer. It's an act of worship. Guys, he's testing my Arabic, right? <laughs> Baraka is blessing. And Ibadah is worship. The word ibadah means worship. Ana abad, right? I am worshiping. Baraka, ana ubarik, I am blessing. So why did Allah is, if Allah is actually, guys, if Allah is actually the best communicator ever and he claims to be God, guys, listen carefully. If Allah is God, according to Muslims, and he is the best communicator ever, He's the perfect communicator. Why did Allah, according to you, if Salah can mean blessing, why did Allah not use Baraka? Baraka is the right and not confusing word for blessing. So how did Baraka became Yusalli or Salah? Salah have always meant praise, prayers. Ana Usalli, who are Yusalli? Hum Allah yusalli. 
Allah is praying. Salah, the root word is salah. Allah should have said, Allah you barik, right? In chapter 33, Allah you barik. So Allah clearly is the worst communicator ever for not using barakah, but is actually doing a mass confusion, spanking himself and his prophet and using pray. Guys, take a screenshot, please. Use this, help me to help you. Take a screenshot, use this when you debate Muslims. Have you taken a snapshot, guys? Take a screenshot of this screen, guys. So Allah should have used Baraka, you Barak, right? Why did he do that? Because he actually meant to say that he's praying, right, guys? He, Allah, and Muhammad meant to say that Allah is doing prayer. Allah is worshiping Muhammad. This is why Allah is always you salli ala nabi, right? Allah is always praying, praying. Allah is praying, brother. Now, this is actually, you know, I put it for you guys. Now I answered your question. I will give you a last chance, I said to the Abdul, to answer my question. To who Allah prays, i.e. you salli, when Allah prays. Are you telling me Allah needs to go back to school and learn basic Arabic? We know Muhammad is illiterate. We know Muhammad was an illiterate fool, as you Muslims claim. Those are not our words. You Muslims always say, Muhammad is an illiterate fool. Right? He's illiterate. He doesn't know how to read. He doesn't know grammar. He doesn't know Arabic very well. Okay, I understand, but are you telling me Allah is like his illiterate prophet? Is Allah an ummi? Clearly Allah is an ummi if you're going to say that Allah busted himself, not using Yubarik, he used instead Yusalli, which means praise. So to who Allah prays when Allah prays? Allahu alam. Allah knows best, brother. Yeah, and actually we're giving free Arabic lessons to Allah, brother. Guys, are you enjoying this? I hope you are benefiting from this, guys. I hope you are benefiting from our teaching today. Alright, use this guys, help me to help you learn from this, okay? I hope you take screenshots, I hope you bookmark every source that we use guys. Because I know you love to debate Muslims, but always like I said, make sure to train yourself. Learn the basic stuff, right? I know a lot of people don't speak Arabic, but we are here to teach you guys basic words. Dua, again, dua is invocation, like, like, Lord, please, you're invoking your God, right? Lord, please help me, hear me. So that's what dua means. It's an act of worship, right? Ad'i, right? Ad'i la Rabb innu yusa'adni. I am asking my God to help me, right? I'm asking, I'm invoking my God to help me out. It's an act of worship. Salah is praying, prayer. Again, act of worship. Blessing is barakah on the other hand. So why did Allah not use you barik? The root word is barakah. You barik is the verb, right? You barik is the verb for blessing, for for. To bless, right? You ba So why did Allah use you salli? Why didn't he use you barik? If he actually meant to say, Allah is sending peace and blessings on the Prophet. No, Allah said, In Allah wa malaikatahu you salluna. Did you hear it? Allah and his angels, you salluna. Salah. Yusalluna, Allah yusalli. Allah, he 
yusalli. They yusalluna. Plural, singular. Singular, yusalli. Yusalluna, as the Quran claims, yusalluna is plural, right? Because it's talking about the angels and Allah. They are the ones who are praying. Allah, as the Quran says, Allah and his angels, you saluna, right? That's what the Quran says in Arabic. Do you, did you catch it, guys? So, you saluna is the verb of salah. This is a noun, this is a verb, a verb, right? Uh, radical love, you need to refresh because my stream says it's healthy. So, it's on your side, sister. You have to refresh. <clears throat> Guys, let this sink in, right? I hope you took snapshots. I hope you took screenshots. Help me to help you. Use this, guys, whenever this topic is brought up in your debates with Muslims. Right? And we are not scared or... We don't hesitate to answer Muslim objections, as you see. You want to test my Arabic? Well, thank you for testing my Arabic, because now I can use it against your Allah and your fake prophet in the court of law. You're actually make, making my job much easier when you are testing my Arabic. <laughs> All right. Oh, Hafza, you have to go. That's bad. All right, sister, God bless you. See you another time. Have a lovely weekend, uh, Hafsa. God bless. So, guys, I hope you benefited from this. All right? You see, guys, I'm doing a, actually a mashup of different kind of topics, right? A mix of different kind of topics today to train you, okay? This is basically a training teaching today for you, all of you. We are training ourselves to do polemics, guys. Where's Fifi, brother? Fifi, do you love me? Oh, Fifi, do you love me? Why don't you call me right here, right now, live on air, brother? Where's Fifi when you need him? Guys, yesterday Fifi sent one of his boyfriends I think that guy's name was Zaka or Z Zakia or whatever what was his name again. Phil Herrera, what was that guy's name yesterday who called Christian Prince? Man, that was a horrible spanking. Man, oh man. Zaki, what was his name? Zaki? Zaki, yeah, Zaki. You know what Zaki means, guys? Any idea what Zaki means in Arabic? Zaki, if you, to, if you say to someone you're Zaki, that means you are basically smart. Right? You're, you're smart. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, you can... You, in normal talk, Zeki means someone who's smart, right? You're Zeki, into Zeki. Right? You're wise, yeah. Exactly. Muslim Wanjab, if you are ready to destroy me, my Skype is open, please, brother. Please call me to destroy me. I, I want you to destroy me. I am tired after 15 years. I'm tired. Call me. Maybe you, you finally can stop my mission, man. Maybe you can finally stop my career. I mean, do you think uh, it's not time consuming to teach, to stream every week, to do videos every week? It's time consuming. I hope you can end my career, man. I mean, my friend, I'm, go I'm going to become a father in a couple of months. Maybe you can help me. I chose this job. I really hope that there is a Muslim who can end my career so I can have more time, some more, more quality time with my wife and to be born child, man. No, no, you don't even know Arabic, you liar. <laughs> yeah, Zeki. You don't even know Arabic, brother. You you were finished, Rob. Na 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 na. Call me donkey. Call me. Call me. Call me. I challenge you to call. Let's see if this 
person can call me and refute me. Yalla, 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 akhwan, yalla, yalla, yalla. Yalla, I mean, talk is, is, che uh, is really cheap in text. Suddenly, all you Muslims, I mean, if Muhammad would be alive, he would be ashamed of you. You have been all become text terrorists, text jihadis. That's what you have become, Muslims. You have become soft. I mean, the Sahaba at least use swords. They force the sword on people's necks to convert to Islam. You Muslims of today, you're a joke. You are a joke. You're a keyboard jihadi terrorist, man. You're a keyboard warrior. Muhammad would have now, by now, turned himself in his grave and be ashamed of you. Shame on you, man. You call yourself a Muslim. Shame on you. Brother, you don't know Arabic, brother. Your Arabic sucks, brother. Yalla, ya akhi, allimni al-Arabiyya. Yalla, I don't know Arabic, man. Ta'a, arfa' idak. Attasl fi. Oh, allimni al-Arabiyya, habib. Yalla, allimni al-Arabiyya. Maybe I don't know Arabic, brother. See, now he's silent fi sabil Allah, brother. Brother, it's Zeki, not Zeki. My friend, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's my dialect, brother. I can't help. My dialect teaches me to, to, to say that like that. Go to the Middle East, right? The dialect in Egypt is much different. They even use different words than in Lebanon. Go to Syria, they use different kind of dialects. You know, if you go to East Syria or West Syria or East Iraq, West Iraq, they have tons of different dialects. Brother, your dialect is strange, brother. Show me one Arab, Arabic country who has just one dialect. You donkey son of a donkey. Who are trying to deceive, man? Lahja, yeah, exactly, Lahja. كل لهجة تختلف في بلد واحد في ألف ميت لهجة يا حبيبي ميت ألف لهجة ميت ألف لهجة في Now the dialect is the issue guys Brother, you don't know Arabic because your dialect is strange It's different than my dialect brother Go to Morocco, go to Morocco They claim they speak Arabic in Morocco If you can understand what they say I'll give you a thousand dollar they claim to know Arabic. They speak Arabic. Try to understand what a Moroccan or a uh, Jazairi says. Algerian guy or Tunisian guy. You will not even understand what they are saying. According to them, they are still uh, talking Arabic. So you see the excuses, guys. Brother, your dialect is different. Yeah, so does that mean I don't know Arabic? <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Brother, you're finished, brother. You don't know Arabic, brother. Yalla, 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 donkey. Yalla, call me, call me. I'm not trying to insult any real donkey, but you know, the word donkey, guys. Guys, the word donkey in Arabic world means someone who is ignorant. So when, you, when I am an Arabic speaking guy, when I say you're a donkey, that means you're ignorant. So I'm not insulting actually a real donkey, okay? My point is, Salah has more than one meaning and sending blessings is one of them. Why do you hide it? I'm not hiding it, donkey. I'm not hiding it because that's not what means. That's what you claim. What does Yubarik mean then? Donkey, son of a donkey. What does Yubarik? Yalla ya What is Baraka? What is Salah? Is Baraka Salah and Salah is Baraka now? يا جزاب ابن جزاب يا جبان ابن جبان صلاة is blessing now right if Allah is truly the best communicator ever why didn't he use the word baraka why didn't he say Allah and his angels يبارکونا why did Allah say يصلونا huh why did Allah in the Quran said you saluna? Why didn't he use the word you barikuna? 
Brother Rob, you don't know Arabic, brother. Clearly, Allah is the worst communicator and he's clearly not God. Because if he was God, he would have used perfect communication to not confuse Muslims. Right, dictionary. Brother, I'm not, I don't need a dictionary. And a Arabi, ya akhi. Are you telling me to use a dictionary? And a Arabi, even Arabi, man. I am an Arab, son of an Arab. Who are you, man? And the proof is in front of you, man. And if Allah actually is God, why did he use the Arabic language? Why did he even use the Arabic language, man? Right? Arabic language is the worst language to use, actually. Why didn't he stick with, uh, with Hebrew, man? Why didn't he stick with Greek? Why would you choose an Arabic language that is not even... There's nothing called actually Arabic language, guys. Arabic language is a mix between Aramaic, Hebrew, uh, Persian, etc., etc., etc. You, you have no idea how many languages are forced in this so-called language called Arabic. There's actually not re a real language that is called Arabic, man. It's a mixture of languages. Why would Allah use a mixture of languages to send down his so-called last and divine revelation, brother? Does that make sense? Why would you not send the Quran in Aramaic? Because Aramaic is the mother of all languages. Right, guys? Does that make sense? Why did Allah not send the Quran in the Aramaic language? Oh, wait. Allah did send the Quran in Aramaic language. Why? Because we find so many... Aramaic words in it. Actually, guys, if you study the Quran and you know Aramaic, you will see that actually the original Quran was written in Aramaic. I kid you not. Even the word Quran, guys, the word Quran is an Aramaic word. The word Quran is an Aramaic word. For example, chapter 18. Guys, chapter 18, where, where there's talking about the seven sleepers, right? The seven sleeper story. The seven sleeper story in chapter 18, guys. Just a second. Bear with me, guys. Let me get it for you. Ashab al-Kaf, right? The companions of the cave. Right? The companions of the cave. Let me go. Uh, this chapter is the most funniest chapter of the whole Quran. Guys, pay attention, okay? The original story, it's a legend story, guys. The Seven Sleepers is a legend bedtime story for children, right? Written by a monk, by a Christian monk. It's a legend story. What does a legend story does in the Quran? It's a story for children. When you, you know, if you, back then, before Islam was created, because Islam, let's say, was created in the 6th, 7th century, right? Muhammad became a prophet in the 6th, 7th century, right? Right, guys? If I'm not mistaken, in 610, Muhammad became a so-called prophet. He... He proclaimed prophethood without any proof, without any evidence, right? Without any eyewitnesses, but, you know, forget about that. Why would Muhammad take a story from here and there, a legend story, put it in Quran and call it divine revelation? And on top of that, right, since this is a legend story, why did Muhammad change it? This word here, وَكَلْبَهُمْ Does anyone have an idea what that means? Yes, a Syriac Aramaic speaking monk wrote this. 
What does a man-made legend story does in the Quran? This is our story, man. They used to, to tell the, this story to us when we were children, man. This is basically a Harry Potter story. It's a legend. Muslims, this is a legend. What does a legend man-made story in your Quran doing? So guys, anyone has an idea what Kalbahum means? Anyone? Admins? Anyone? This highlighted word, what does it mean? Someone says dog. No, not hard. Dog. Yes, correct. R L E U. You hit the jackpot, my friend. It means dog. D O G. There, actually, to be more specific, their dog. That's what it means. Wakalbahum. Brother, the original story does not say Wakalbahum. It says Wakaliahum. How did Wakaliahum become Wakalbahum? How did basically the guardian it was talking about an angel? How did the angel become a dog? The original story goes like this. They are being persecuted. This is talking about seven sleeping Christians, right? This is talking, this legend story is talking about seven sleeping Christians. They were getting, guys pay attention. This story is talking about seven Christians who were getting persecuted by the Roman, by the pagan Roman army. How did the angel in the original story become a dog? Yes, hello? Your life on air. There, actually, to be more specific. Mute there. YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute YouTube. Yes. This is your daddy to me. Okay. This is, this is your master who just pressed the mute button on you. I have no time for... Ultimate shirk, brother. Donkey. I have my own personal uh, donkey uh, in the shape of Ultimate shirk. He is my biggest fan. He always keeps calling us. He's a Rashad Khalifa boy, a fake wannabe Muslim, a follower of Rashad Khalifa, who was stabbed by the Sunni Muslims in the 90s, who claimed to be a messenger after Muhammad and claimed to be that one of the passages of the Quran, one of the eyes of the Quran, is talking about Rashad Khalifa. Ultimate shirk, you're a fool, you're not even a Muslim. Why should I uh, even pick up the phone, man? This is your daddy. No, you are a kid. Sit down and listen. You became my personal dhimmi. You are my dhimmi, okay? You are my dhimmi. That's what you are. Anyway, uh, so how did their dog or their angel became their dog. The original story, legend story, is talking about angel who is guarding the entrance. So these seven sleepers were being persecuted by the Roman pagans, guys. They went to the cave, they started to hide in the cave from the army of pagan Romans, right? They were persecuting them. So they went inside the cave and an angel started to guard the cave. So how did the angel become a dog? Right? How did the angel in the original story, the legend Christian story, who was written by a Syriac monk before Islam, how did this angel become a dog? Well, the original word was Wakaliahum and suddenly with dots it became Kelbom. So here Muhammad had no idea and later Muslims actually corrupted the Quran by making it a dog. Suddenly the angel became a dog guys, right? I mean what can a tiny dog, I mean if you actually Love the original legend story. It's a bedtime, bedtime story. I understand if this is an angel who is stretching, right? 
let's say his um, wings. But how does a tiny dog is going to protect seven Christians from an entire Roman army? Do you know how strong the Romans were? Have you any idea how strong the Romans are? How can a small tiny chihuahua, guys, how can, how can a tiny chihuahua protect seven Christians from an army of Romans? A Roman army. Brada. This must be, this must be a, you know, a dangerous chihuahua, man. And on top of that, isn't a dog haram, brother? Isn't a dog? Are dogs not being killed in Islam for being devil? Do you want me to show you how dogs are being killed, guys? They hate dogs, man. Muhammad himself hated dogs. Muhammad hated dogs. Right? Especially the black ones, right? Do you have any Muslim? Do you have a real Muslim, not a fake wannabe one like Ultimate Shirk? I mean, uh, even angels in Islam, guys, angels, Jibreel, was really, 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 really shy to enter any house that had dogs in them right a dead dog if you have a, let's say a dead dog or a dog in your house the angels are too scared to enter your house according to muhammad right muhammad amin ya muhammad amin call me ya muhammad amin you're a muslim you're a proud muslim call me we are live on air my skype id is d or Christian. call me Farjini ard ktafak and call me. Show me your bright shoulders and call me. Show me your manhood, man. Show me that you're actually a proud Muslim and call me. Yesterday you were spamming my comment section. I hope today you have the courage. I hope you are actually calling yourself a man and call me. Yeah, dogs are very unclean in Islam, especially the black ones. And you, if you have a dog, Jibril what, will not enter your house, brother. Suddenly, the Muslim lions became all kittens, brother. You see, guys, this was actually an Aramaic word, an Aramaic story that is talking about an angel, Malak. Suddenly, it became a dog. And what does a legend story, what is it doing in your Quran, brother? Anyway, forget about this, guys. Let us move on. Since we were talking about Allah praying, Allah is doing blasphemy, right? What about Muhammad, guys? What about Muhammad? When Muslims pray, guys, they play, pray like this, right? Brother, look, I'm a Muslim, I'm praying like this, right? As-salamu alayka, ayyuha nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here, Muslims are actually one day praying, you see, this is this Abdul, he is praying, he is talking directly to Muhammad, peace. 
upon you, O Prophet. So Muslims, question. When you pray, why do you talk to Muhammad? Muslims, when you pray, why do you talk directly to Muhammad? Pro gamer is saying, pro gamer, you're a coward and you never call me. Let me read what he said. The coward pro gamer says, Rob Christian, and I quote, Muslims also say, peace be upon us. Does it mean, let me copy it and paste it. Guys, just a second, guys. Let me pause what he said. He said, pro gamer said, Rob Christian, Muslims also pray or say, Peace be upon us. Does it mean we pray to ourselves? You are a stupid dude. No, you are the donkey. I'm not the stupid. Here is why. When you say peace be upon us, you say peace be upon us. You are not actually talking to anyone else. Right? You are actually asking the peace of Allah to be upon you. You are not actually addressing anyone else, right? You're asking basically Allah's peace to be upon you. You are the stupid one who doesn't understand your own Islamic basic information or basic foundations of Islam. But here when you pray you donkey, you are talking to Muhammad, peace on you. Oh, Prophet, you, you're talking to Muhammad. Right? P when you say peace upon all the slaves of Allah, you're not addressing the slaves, but here it says on you. You don't understand. You're talking to Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad, on you. You see the taqiyya, uh, uh, Mr. Programmer, can you call me, open your cam and do the monkey dance for me? I know you can dance. I know you, all you Muslims can dance, right? Can you do the monkey dance for me, please, now? You are talking to Muhammad, don't you see it? Let me make a big, maybe you're blind, brother. Peace and God's Mercy and blessings be upon you. Right? Ayyuhan Nabiyu. Right? Oh, you prophet. Why are you using taqiyya, brother? Why are you tap dancing around the disaster that Muhammad created for you? When you pray, why are you talking to Muhammad? Isn't this blasphemy? Isn't it blasphemy to talk to a prophet in Islam? No, only when it's Muhammad, it's not blasphemy, brother. It, a, you are addressing Muhammad, you are talking to Muhammad directly. This is clear blasphemy, this is 100% shirk. And on top of that, this is necromancy, you are talking to a dead guy. You are talking to a dead Muhammad. He is dead. You Muhammad, I mean you donkey idiot. When you say Salamu Alayna, right? You are, you are asking, you are invoking Allah, right? to send you his peace. But here, you're invoking Allah, you're doing dua to Allah, you're invoking Allah to send you peace and mercy. I understand that donkey, ya donkey ibn donkey, you donkey ibn donkey, ya jaban ibn jaban, ya hamar ibn hamar. Inta ma btafham? Right, inta ma btafham? Don't you understand? You are talking directly to Muhammad. What's wrong with you? When you invoke, I understand. When you invoke Allah, you're asking for peace. You're asking for mercy. I understand that. 
Okay, there is no problem with that. But here you are talking to Muhammad. You are talking directly to Muhammad, a dead guy. What's wrong with you? Are you stupid or what? Sorry, but your language is disgusting, brother. No, sorry that you are a worshipper of Muhammad. Sorry that you are a blasphemer. You are talking directly to Muhammad. I am sorry for you. I, I, I pity you. That you are nothing but a mushrik. Fi sabil Muhammad. Right? Yes, this is the behavior to address monkeys and donkeys like you. And I'm not trying to insult any animal here. Right? Jesus himself called nasty worshippers of Satan, like the Sanhedrin, he called them a bud of vipers. If my Jesus can call nasty agents of Satan vipers, why cannot call you a donkey? And by the way, as we mentioned earlier, the word donkey in the Arab world does not actually mean donkey. It's a metaphor, brother. Metaphor, it means you're ignorant. This is why you see many donkeys in the Middle East. Remember my debate with uh, the PhD Sheikh, guys? PhD Sheikh. Sheikh Rohi. I had a debate with Sheikh Rohi, PhD Al Azari Sheikh. I asked him about the hadith, guys. When you, you raise your head before the Imam finished the prayer, brother. Allah will turn your head into a donkey. When I asked him, do you believe in this? He's saying it is a metaphor, brother. Allah will not actually turn your head into a donkey. It means you are ignorant idiot. Right? You're an idiot. So when I call you idiot according to Ruhi, when I call you a donkey according to Sheikh Ruhi, PhD Sheikh from al -Azhar, you are an idiot, you are an ignorant. That's what Allah meant. It's a metaphor, brother. Allah will not actually change your head of a don real donkey. It's a metaphor, metaphor, brother. Everything that is damaging in Islam, it becomes a metaphor, brother. Everything that busts Muhammad's lies, it becomes a metaphor, brother. Yeah, here and our brother Phil Herrera, thank you for the link, my friend. Just posted the link. According to Sheikh Ruhi, guys, that I debated, PhD Sheikh from Al Azhar, this hadith is metaphor, brother. The Prophet said, Isn't it he who raises his head before the Imam, afraid that Allah might transform his head into that of a donkey? What, brother? When I asked Sheikh Ruhi, brother, in my debate, he said, this is, brother, this is metaphor. This is not actually real, brother. And by the way, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Sahih, 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 Bukhari. Hadith number 69. One. You see it? Even the chapter, look at the chapter name, guys. This is comedy. This is comedy. Islam is really comedy. The sin of the one who raises his head before the Imam. Raises his head, brother. It's a saying to raise your head before the Imam finished the prayer. Allah will transform your head into a donkey. When I asked, like I said, when I asked Imam Sheikh Ruhi, Sheikh Ruhi, do you believe in this? He said, no, no, brother, it's metaphor, brother. Metaphor, what do you mean metaphor? Well, it means you're ignorant idiot. Sheikh Ruhi said, PhD Sheikh, it means you are an Ignorant idiot. This is why we have so many donkeys in the Arabic world. This is why we have so many donkeys in the Middle East, brother. Welcome. God bless my friends. Welcome to the people who just joined. Where are the Muslims who have the courage and the knowledge? Where are the Ikhwan to call me? Why are you all became kittens? Where is Fifi, brother? Where is Mimi? Where is Fifi? Where is Farid? Where is uh, Muhammad Hijab? Where are they? Why are they not calling us, man? 
Why are they not doing live shows so we can call them? You know why, right, Muslims? I, 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 guys, I, I promise you one thing. If, Lord willing, if one day I debate Mimi Hijab, I'm, sh I'm sure they are not going to debate me, but if I debate Mimi Hijab or Farid, I'm going either to get spanked or I spank them. If they spank me, I'll open up my cam and I will shave my two feet long mustache and beard, brother. I really hope that a Muslim after 15 years will spank me, bro. I'm tired. I'm tired to talk about this disgusting filth, i.e. Islam. Someone says, Shirley says they will mute you also, RC. No, really? Nah, you're kidding. You're kidding, brother. Look, pro gamer, you donkey son of a donkey. We're talking about this, you're talking about bananas. Why are you talking about the Bible, you pro gamer donkey? I mean, I, I didn't, uh, by the way, guys, I, I just called him donkey. It means an ignorant idiot. I'm not trying to insult any real donkey, okay, guys? Focus, focus, Abdul. Abdul, son of Abdul. Again. Again, yeah, donkey, son of a donkey. When you Muslims pray, why do you Muslims pray to Muhammad? Programmer, when you pray, why do you pray to Muhammad? Assalamu alayka, ayyuha nabi. What? Peace be upon you, O Muhammad, O Nabi, O Prophet. What? Why are you praying to Muhammad, man? Answer my question. Let's see how he's going to tap dance again, guys. Let's see if this coward is going to answer my question. He, I, we know he's a coward. He will never call me. You know what, programmer? Sit down and be a nice than me. Okay? Let me give him a timeout. Programmer, since you are a coward and you need to change topic every second, sit down, be my personal than me, and maybe you'll learn something about your true Islam. So why do you Muslims... Pray to Muhammad when you pray. And they pray five times a day, guys. And they repeat everything at least 70 times. At least 70 times they talk directly to Muhammad. On you. Who? On you, O oh Prophet. How does it feel to be become my personal than me, yeah, programmer? Does it feel nice? Guys, when a Muslim army, right? under a caliph, under a caliphate, they attack your country, let's say they attack the United States, God forbid, it will never happen, but let's say one day it will happen. They come with their army, they invade the United States, they will force jizya on the Christians, right? Which is nothing but a mafia protection money. Protection from who? From the Muslim hands. They will force jizya on you, right? If you don't want to pay jizya, they will tell you, to you as a Christian, okay, you don't want to pay jizya, leave the country. But my friend, this is my country, I don't want to leave uh, the country, I don't want to pay jizya, and I don't want to leave the country. They, then they will say to you, okay, you don't want to leave the country? That means we're going to kill you, and we will take your wives, your daughters as sex slaves, brother. Protection from who? When, they, when we ask them, what is, what is Jizya? They say it's a protection money system. Protection from who? From Muslim hands. <laughs> brother, it's a tax. No, it's not tax, brother. Because if you pay tax as a law-abiding ab citizen in the United States, no one will kill you for not paying taxes. Right? We're talking about killing and raping your women. <laughs> they will kill you and they will take your women and daughters as sex slaves, right? Right, brother? For, uh, you know, for uh, sexy time, brother. So when you pay tax, you know, they love to call it tax. When you pay tax, we are allowed to rape your women 
and your mothers and your daughters because you don't want to pay tax? It means tax, brother. Yeah, right. If you don't pay jizya, brother, I'm going to rape your wife. I'm going to rape your daughter, brother. That's Islam, brother. It means tax, brother, but if you don't pay it, I'm going to rape your wife. Nana Ima, not killing and raping. You donkey, son of a donkey, you Nana. Okay, okay, guys, 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 let's see how, how this person, this filthy agent of Satan, Nana, you said, let me post it in a text. Nana said, and I quote, not killing and raping, you lie. Okay, if I don't pay jizya, you conquer my country. You are a usurper, you conquer my country. You implement Sharia law and you force jizya on me. I don't want to pay jizya. And you ask me to leave. You ask me to leave the country and I still don't want to leave. What is the final step? Guys, let's see if this donkey is going to answer. Wait. Nana, no, no. if I don't want to pay jizya as a dhimmi and I don't want to leave the country, what is the final step? Guys, let's see if this person is going to answer. <clears throat> no, no, guys, guys, Carolina, can you remove, uh, can you remove the timeout, guys? Is, is there a way to remove the timeout? <clears throat> Why did you give her timeout, guys? It's a, I'm not sure if it's a her or, you know, or a he. Can we remove the timeout for a second, guys? I want her to answer. Uh, admins, admins, Filoreira, or uh, can we? Can you remove the timeout for a second, guys? Can you remove the timeout? Is that possible in YouTube? I don't know. I have no idea. Is it possible to remove the three hundred seconds timeout? Okay, so it, maybe it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't allow you to remove the timeout. You can't. Okay, no problem. I don't think it's possible in YouTube to remove because I don't see the option to. Anyway, um, to any other Muslim, if I as a Vimmi, Christian Vimmi, you conquered my country. Guys, watch. If I, if sorry, if you conquer my country, let's say the United States as a Muslim army, you implement Sharia law, you force jizya on me, and you ask me to pay jizya as a Vimmi. And I refuse to pay. And I refuse to leave the country. What is the final step? Any Muslim? Any Muslim who has the courage to answer? Yalla ya khwan, yalla yalla yalla. Answer please. See? Cowards, man. Cowards. They don't dare to answer the question, guys. Because they don't want you to know about the real face of Islam. When, guys, again, when you do not leave the country, if you refuse, if you refuse to pay jizya, they will kill you as a man. And they will take your wives, your mothers, and daughters as sex slaves. So know what will happen, guys, if you allow Muslims to take over your country. Liberals, do we have any rebel, rebel, liberal, uh, rebelers, uh, uh, Western people watching? Do we have any li any uh, Pelosi? Where's Pelosi when you need her, brother? Brother, liberal uh, Democrats, brother. Where are the Democrats, brother? Pelosi, Pel what's her name? Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi. What was her name? You want you want Islam to invade your country? You want to Islam take over your country, brother? Implement Sharia law, brother. If you don't want to pay jizya. And you don't want to leave the country. The final step is they will kill you. And they will rape your 
women, they will rape your daughters, they will rape your mothers. Do you want that or are you going to grab your sword together with me? I'm, guys, when that happened in the country that I live in, I'm going to grab my sword and defend my country, guys. I'm going to grab my gun and I'm going to defend my country. Because I'm allowed to do so. This is biblical teaching. Defend. I, I love to die, defend my country. I have the right to defend my family and my country. Do you want that guy? Do you want Muslims to take your country and implement Sharia law? Do you want to be a liberal? Be my guest. They are going to take your wives as sex slaves, brother. You don't want to convert to Islam. You don't want to pay jizya. And you don't want to leave. They are going to kill you and they're going to rape your women. This is, this is Sharia law, brother. This is Sharia law. Rob, you're a liar, Rob. You filthy, disgusting creature. You filthy, disgusting creature. Why are you using taqiyya? But taqiyya is only for Shia, brother. Taqiyya is for Shia. <laughs> Taqiyya is for Shia, brother. Taqiyya is for Shia. You Muslims truly have no shame, you have no dignity. You think we are still uh, stupid, we don't know what, uh, what will happen if you don't pay jizya, right? Huh? If we don't want to leave the country. <clears throat> Any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? I mean, we have more than 130 people watching. Brother, taqiyya is only for Shia, brother. Yeah, right, you filthy liars. You're lying, Nana said. Rob Christian, you're lying. Prove to me that I'm lying. You donkey son of a donkey. Uh, guys, donkey means stupid, ignorant, idiot, okay? So, no, we are not trying to call anyone a real donkey, right? I mean, that's what they said. Topic is, uh, we have all kinds of topics, guys, going on. The topic that we had just had is, why do Muslims pray to Muhammad? When Muslims pray, why they are directly talking to Muhammad? Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. They are talking to Muhammad, peace be upon you, O Muhammad. That guy, Muslims, isn't that haram? Isn't that shirk? Isn't that blasphemy? No, uh, zero one, I didn't got any answer. I didn't get any answer. No Muslim is answering me. They're only doing tap dances. Tap dances around the question. Anyway, this, this is Islam. What can we do, guys? Allah prays. Pray to who? It must be Muhammad because you are praying to Muhammad. Allah and his angels are doing praying. They are praying on the Nabi. Praying to who? It must be Muhammad. Clearly, the proof is in front of you. Even you Muslims talk to Muhammad. Guys, last time we showed you, just a second. We showed you. That you Muslims, when you go to Medina, you actually pray to Muhammad. Right Muslims? When you Muslims go to Medina, you actually pray to Muhammad. Let me prove it, guys. Just a second. Let 
look guys when Muslims go to Medina you see what they're doing this is the tomb of Muhammad brother this is the tomb of Muhammad in Medina what they are they doing brother I think they are dancing guys do you see it? they are actually uh, playing chess they are playing chess when they go to Medina, uh, when they go to the tomb of Muhammad. Let me use a better picture, guys. Do you see it? This is the tomb of Muhammad in Medina. Do you see it? This guy is actually playing chess. Do you see it, guys? He's playing chess. He's not praying, brother. He's playing chess. What are you? Why are you praying towards Muhammad, man? Why are you praying to a dead guy, brother? It's not praying, brother. It's playing chess, brother. I'm playing video games. You see, I have a PlayStation Three here. I have a PlayStation Three here. I'm playing Mario. I'm playing uh, FIFA 2020, brother. I'm playing football on my PlayStation here. I brought my PlayStation with me and I'm playing PlayStation in front of the tomb of Muhammad. I'm not praying to Muhammad, brother. No, 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 no. I, I, I believe you, man. Why are you Muslims? You, you hypocrite, munafiq Muslims. When you go to Medina, why are you praying to Muhammad? Why? Because you are actually praying to Muhammad. I'm not lying. I dare you. I challenge you to, to tell me where I'm lying. You hypocrite, munafiq Muslims. When you go to Medina, why are you praying to Muhammad? Why are you praying to a dead guy who already rotted in his grave 1400 years ago? This is not shirk. This is not blasphemy. Praying to a dead guy. Look, man, their butts up high. Down on your knees, brother. But up, please. Down on your knees and but up, please. Yeah, pictures are lying. Brother, I, Rob Christian, he is a Photoshop expert. I am a Photoshop expert. I made this, brother. Look, look at my Photoshop skills, brother. This is the tomb and I took these Muslims. Look, and I placed them with Photoshop here. I, this guy, he, with his ass there. This guy, his ass there. And, you know, look at my Photoshop skills, brother. Maybe I think uh, Message of Love made this, guys. Sorry. This is created by a Christian, guys. True story. This is Photoshop, brother. Yo, know, these sneaky Christians. Photoshop taqiyah, yeah. <laughs> and this Abdul here that you see is playing on his phone. Do you see it? He's playing Mario Kart on his smartphone, brother. All right. You know what, Zach and Nick always say, brother makes a good point. Brother makes a good point. Um, yeah, donkey, son of a donkey, we're not talking about the Bible here. We're talking about your shirk, donkey. Yeah, Daki, we are not talking about the Bible, you donkey son of a donkey. Why are you changing topic? Pay attention, focus. Why do you Muslims, why Muslims, when you go to Medina, why do you pray to Muhammad in his dead grave? In his dead, in, <laughs> why are you praying to a dead man in his grave? Answer the question, man, or call me. <laughs> why do you Muslims, guys, Guys, don't bother, don't bother in answering his question. He, he wants to run. Okay, you know, since you are a coward, son of a coward, Jaban, let me give you a timeout. Sit down and be another than me. Right? Sit down, sit down, and act differently. Guys, yesterday, <clears throat> I was on uh, Christian Prince's uh, live show, bro. Brother, I was listening to the debate between Christian Prince and one of the boyfriends of Fifi. Mr. Fifi sent one of his boyfriends 
to Christian prince to spank Christian prince because Fifi is too coward he is a coward he will never ever call Christian prince so he sent one of his boyfriends and he trained his boyfriend this Muslim Muhammadan boyfriend this Zeki or Zeki this guy wanted to spank Christian Prince finally life on air and Fifi trained him and he sent him to Christian Prince and actually guys I'm, I'm, I'm really want to play this debate this was amazing debate I want to show you how Christian Prince ate this guy alive Christian Prince swallowed him spanked him and served him alive Christian Prince didn't even digest him guys he didn't even chew him he immediately ate him he ate him now watch the video guys I want to play the video for you okay watch Mr. Zaki is calling hello hello Hello. Yes, Mr. Zaki, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm oh, fine. What do you want to say to us? Uh, proof that the Prophet uh, avoided debating with uh, Christians of Najran. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, prove it. It's very easy in the Quran. Prove it. Okay, let us see. Do you have your Quran with you? Yes. All right. Chapter 3, verse number 61. Read it for us. Chapter 3, verse number 61. And if anyone disputes with you about him, hmm. after the knowledge has come to you, hmm. say, Come, let us call our children and your children okay. and our women and your women and ourselves and yourselves, hmm. and let us invoke Allah's curse on the liars. Okay. So where what, is the where is the where is the debate? Where does it say Najran? Where it says Najran? Yes. Well, you Muslim claim it's uh, people of Najran, not me. Where? Where? But there is many books. Where? It doesn't matter which book. It doesn't matter for me. You are a Christian, right? I got you busted. Okay, so if I show you it is Najran, you will accept that Muhammad is a fool. If you show me, okay, I'm saying to you, if I show you right now, you will accept that Muhammad is a liar. You will never find it. Okay, well, let us see if I will find it or not. Here we go. So now, where is the debate? Until I find you the, the the story. What? Where we can find the debate? The debate. The Quran says, if those come to you and they want to debate you, the debate is about what? First of all. Is about them with knowledge. About what? About who? Debating about who? About Jesus. Okay, how do you know it's about Jesus? The Quran says. Well, in the verse it says that? It says behind, the likeness of Jesus is in Allah's sight is that of Adam. He created him from dust okay. and said to him, be and he was. No, I'm asking you, how you know that this debate is about Jesus? Read, read the verse before it. Okay, the, the verse before it, what it says? Go ahead. It says, The likeness of Jesus in Allah's sight is that of Adam. He created, he created him from dust, hmm. then said to him, Be, and he was. Okay, and what is the debate? The likeness of Jesus is the same as Adam. First of all, Adam and Jesus, they are not the same. Are they? How? You tell me how they are the same. Go ahead. They're both men. Okay, both are men, and but the Quran is not saying he is. This is the this is the likeness. The Quran is saying that both he said to them be and they was. Yeah. Okay. Did Allah created Adam by saying be and he was? Yes. Where it says that in the Quran? Right here. Where? He created from dust. Hmm. Then said to him, Be and he was. All right. We will go there in a second. This is your Islamic interpretation. 
It says, وَهَذِهِ الْآيَةِ الْكَرِيمَةِ تُسَمَّ بِآيَةِ الْمُبَاهَلَةِ وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ الْعُلَمَاءِ أَنَّهَا نَزَلَتْ لِلْرَدَّ عَلَى نَصَارَ نَجْرَانِ Where do you get this from? Where do you think I get it from? From where? I, I can't see the screen, so I don't know. You don't, you don't know? No. Okay, let us see where this is coming from. فَقَالَ الْفَخْرُ الرَّازِي الفخر الرازي he said and this is the interpretation who is he uh, he is your muslim imam you don't you don't know him you never heard of him i never heard of him okay well, what about we go to ibn kathir قال okay. ibn kathir ما ملخصه كان نزول هذه المباهله وما قبلها من اول السوره الى هنا في وفد نصارى نجران go to ibn kathir Okay, but you said to me, it does not exist. I don't know who this guy is. Who? You, who you do not know him? Who? The, the guy you just thought, said. Okay, do you know Abu al-Bukhari? Yes. Okay. Uh, did did al-Bukhari say that too? I don't know, show me. Okay. Uh, but do you know al-Bukhari, right? Yes. All right. Let us see. Let us go first to Ibn Kathir. This was one of the lies that that uh, Farid responds. He he busted you with. Well, I am the one who got him busted because this is Ibn Kathir. Where? I mean, this guy. He keeps saying to me, "Where?" Okay, hold on. We open the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. You will find it. Now, Ibn Kathir is a liar like your, it looked like your uh, Fifi. Because why Fifi, he accept Ibn Kathir when he want. He don't accept Ibn Kathir when he want. Let us go to the verse. Guys, just a second, okay? Just to confirm that Christian Prince is not lying. Guys, are you with me? Are you with me? Guys, can you hear my voice? <clears throat> Hello? Okay, okay. Thank you for the... You can't hear me, guys. You don't hear my voice. Long years of Jerusalem, you need to refresh. Okay. Um, guys, Christian Prince mentioned Ibn Kathir and he mentioned Fakhreddin al-Razi. Those are very huge scholars in Islam, man. Right? Guys, let me show you that Christian Prince is not lying. Just to confirm our brother... Christian Prince. This is Ibn Kathir, right? The Quran verse commentary. Kathir, Ibn al Kathir, Ibn al Kathir, Ibn al Kathir. Okay. We scroll down, brother, to go to the right ayah, tafsir. Uh oh, uh oh. The reason for the call to Mubahala. Right? To have a discussion or a debate and the violation of the ayat from the beginning of this surah until here, brother, is that a delegation from the Christians of Najran? Uh oh, brother, Fifi, and I quote, said, CP, this is not what it says, CP. CP, this is not about Christians of Najran, brother. Well, is this talking about the aliens of Najran then? This is not talking about Najran, brother. You disgusting liar, Fifi. Uh, Fifi spanked you. Spanked you, CP. Fifi spanked you. No, brother, this is even Kathir, brother. It doesn't say that, CP. Brother, speaking from Kif. Oh, guys, sorry for that voice. Speaking from Kif, Hira, Hira. This is Ibn Kathir, Kathir, Kathir. For chapter 3, 3, I 61, 1, 1, 1. This is talking about the debate with the Christians of Nigeria. Uh 
Unbelievable! You fifi, you nasty, filthy agent of Satan. You taqiyya boy, you. You taqiyya boy. Yeah, I think Najran guys are from Pluto. Yeah, exactly, Gala. You see how Christian Prince did it? And I. You see what kind of disgusting, evil human being this Fifi, this Farid is? He is deceiving his Muslim audience. I mean, even a kid can do a response video, right guys? Even a kid can play a video out of context, lie and edit the hell out of the video and make Christian Prince look bad. But why does Fifi send kids like Zakia or whatever this guy's name is, Zaki or whatever? Why are you sending a your boyfriend? Why are you not you calling directly to Christian Prince? Why are you sending this boy, this boyfriend of yours, this Zaki, to Christian Prince to be slaughtered like a sheep? CP slaughtered him, as you see. He even ate him alive without even chewing or digesting him. And I know, I'm sure Fifi is laughing about it. He's laughing about his boyfriend that he brought to Christian Prince to be slaughtered. CP slaughtered him and spanked him and served him for everybody to eat. I mean, for everybody to see. <clears throat> CP doesn't say the Christians of Najran, CP, Fifi said. Fifi spades you, CP. No, CP did not lie. Donkey, son of a donkey. Uh, Maya Chudi, what is what are you saying? Farid already challenged CP for real life debate. CP does not debate in real life, and you guys also do not push him to debate in real life because you know that he won't win. Who does who won't win? Maya, I talking about Fifi or Christian Prince? Fifi will be eaten alive. Even the bones, we will eat him alive. Even his bones we will eat during the debate. Christian Prince will become a cannibal during the debate. If Fifi is scared to debate Christian Prince, why is he not debating me instead? Maybe he will, you know, spank me, maybe. Doesn't say that, Christian Prince. The Tafsir doesn't say that, man. You got spanked by Fifi. Fifi said it, it is. That means when Fifi speaks, Allah speaks. Right? You're a liar, okay? You got spanked, CP. Yeah, right. Keep sending us your boyfriends, Fifi, Mimi. Because you're too scared. Because you will know. You know you'll be eaten alive by people like Christian Prince and myself. You'll be eaten alive by us. This is why you're sending us kids like Zakia or Zeki to be spanked and served so you can laugh about it. Right, Fifi? I know you are laughing now, right? You are laughing about your boyfriend, Zeki, who got spanked yesterday, right? Let me continue, guys, because this was really a wonderful debate, man. I hope you guys learned from this debate. And I hope you learned that Christian Prince did not lie. Chapter 3, verse number 61. <clears throat> so Fifi, he told you that those are not the the Christian from Najran. Yes. He said that you swear. You can watch the video. No, I don't watch his video. He's too small for me to watch his videos. I did already bust him many times, so it's done. I I forgot what he said. Okay. But he said anyway, already, he already, already, you already you swear. Here we go. Everybody heard you saying I swear. Here we go. It says here this is Ibn Kathir, and this is the website. I'm going to post it in the chat. All right. This is Ibn Kathir in English. Your Islamic does website. Say, does it say Ibn Kathir said it, or he did, or, or is he quoting someone else? My friend Ibn Kathir. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. When he say when he quote, he is saying too. No, no, no. Because how he knew? Are you stupid or what? Ibn Kathir was not there. How he knew? In order to know, he have to be there. It, it in order for me to say, this is who they are. I have to be there. Unless I have, then I have to quote Sahaba and companion those who was there. Correct? They quote all the interpretations. No problem. Here we go. It says that this is a delicate coming from the Christian of Najran. 
Where? It's in the screen, and this is a Mikathir. I show it to you in Arabic. You do not know Arabic. I'm showing it to you now in English. Come, even English, you do not know. And I'm posting the link in the chat. So if you are watching the chat, you can click at the link and you can read it from your side. So Fifi, he did lie to you. What do you think now? Why Fifi is lying? It says the delegations of Christians from Najran came mm. to the Messenger of Allah. Mm. The delegation that consisted of 60 horsemen. Doesn't Fourteen matter. Did they, is, is it about you said? You said to me, prove to me that those are the Christian from Najran. So are they or not? They did. Are you with you? Huh? Isn't it the Quran saying that those who they are, they want to dispute, what dispute with me? Tell me what dispute mean. It, it doesn't say they came and debated. My friend, him. my friend, it says, and those who dispute, what dispute mean? Argue. Okay, is that a debate or not? Yes. Okay, so they are coming to debate, and now we we found that they are the Christian of so, so you So your Fifi it got busted. It doesn't say face to face. Ah, it doesn't say face to face. They, they have a Skype? Through people. He is saying to them, bring your wife and bring your wife and my, and, and, and my wives, bring your kids and bring my kids. <laughs> so, the, so this is not, uh, not face to face. So this is what, ass to ass? Okay, I, I, I don't know. Okay, so agree with me now that Fifi is lying, Fifi and Mimi. You are a good person and you have to be honest now. I show it to you on the screen what I can do more. It's a debate, the Christian, they came to challenge him, the coward. With this. So now me and you talking, debating about Islam, I say to you, bring your wife? What do your wife have to do with this? I, I don't know. My friend, no, you know, you are a smart person. Now that this is a stupid argument, Muhammad ran away from debating the Christian, the same as Fifi says, I will challenge you, I will go anywhere to debate you. You do not need to go anywhere. I do not know, go anywhere. You know, here we go, you call me by Skype. Finished. I mean, everybody knows that I don't go and uh, uh, make debate in the street. I don't do that. I do it behind my computer, com comfortable, I'm resting. So they make excuse not to debate me and now your prophet is doing the same. And now you call me and you are a victim. You know, I'm not against you. You are a victim of the lies of those stupid people there. They lie to you and they say to you, it's not, not it doesn't say that, CP. And that's why you're calling me now. But it says that. Mm. Okay. Uh, 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 prove that uh, there was an idol around the Kaaba uh, named Ahad. Prove that there is a uh, uh, idol around the Kaaba. His name is Ahad. Tell him, and then he let, I want to see what he says. Okay, there's a video, right? You, you know, you can you can go on uh, in YouTube. You can search for the videos. There's tons of videos about the idols around the Kaaba. They, they, the, you Muslims have have movies about it. You said his name is Ahad. Okay, let me ask you. Are you making a challenge for me now? The same as the first one. Or you are just being a fool. I like if you can show me, it would be good. No, I'm asking you. Is that something he said to you? Yes. Okay, what he said to you? That that uh, there was no idol around the Kaaba named Ahad. It was a fake. It is a fake. Yeah. Okay. It's a fake. What? It it, it doesn't exist. Ah, uh, this idol does not exist? Yeah. Okay, well, let us see if it exists or not. If we go in the verse in the Quran, what it says? It says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ, correct? Yes. Okay. If, his, if he is Allah, what is Ahad mean? قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ. Okay, what Ahad say mean? Al say Allah is one. Okay, what uh, 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 the word Ahad mean, one? Yes. All right. Okay, I will go right now in the Quran and I will type for you the word Ahad. Do you know how many times it appears? Uh, I don't know. Many times. Chapter 2, verse 102. Chapter 2, verse 136. 
chapter 2 verse 2 uh, to 8 5 3 uh, 73 uh, 384 3 uh, 153 which one you want to open 443 all of them says that what I had mean one off not one but this is a stylistic language no, uh, no problem he is one off the word I had the word I had mean one the word I had is one but, off oh, uh, do, 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 okay you, do you speak Arabic no, no, I can't speak. Sorry. Okay, I want you to ask Fifi to make a sentence which the word ahad does not mean one off. Challenge. It, it may mean that in other places, but... No, th when... there's no other way. You cannot make any... Because here we go, Arabic language is Arabic language. It doesn't come in any way in any mean except this is what it's mean. It's mean. Either it is a name or Muhammad is being a fool using a word is not in Arabic like as an example yeah. how would you determine this is uh, an idol how I determine yes okay because Allah he said he is a Samad what? Samad means like uh, one alone without partners without who is the one who said that, that? who is the one who oh. said that you Muslims have a million interpretation for the word Samad and each one of you he give a different interpretation But why do you believe that Allah uh, needs to have a kid? Uh, why, why why can't he be alone without that's uh, a good God question here we go Okay, this, this is a good question. Look what your God. He said to you. I will let your God answer you. He said How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Did Allah say is that? Show me Okay Here we go. Your God, he says, how you, how you, you know, uh, uh, how you say that Allah. Guys, he, this is very interesting uh, uh, point here. Before we continue the video, guys, I want to play the entire video for you because this is really damaging, guys. This is so damaging, you have no idea. This guy, the more he asks Christian Prince, Questions, the deeper the rabbit hole goes. And here is why, guys. Here is why. This is chapter 112 of the Quran. This is one of the most important Quranic chapters. Guys, do you hear me? Is my sound still good? <clears throat> I hope my sound is good. This is the ch chapter of the Quran that Christian Prince was talking about. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, Allah is one of. Where is the word wahid, guys? Where is the word wahid? Wahid in Arabic, like one, two, three. Wahid, tanin, talata. One, two, three. Wahid means one. But the word is ahad. Whenever the word ahad is used, it's always mean one of. Let me give you an example. Ahad al awlad. What does that mean? One of the children. When I want to say one child, I say Walad Wahid, right? Wahid Walad Walad Wahid, right? I don't say uh, Ahad, I don't use the word Ahad because I want to tell you this is one one child. But when I say Ahadul Awlad, I say one of the children. Did you, did you catch it guys? Ahad means one of. Why did Allah not use Wahid, because Allah wanted to tell you that he's one of many, at least two, right? Muslims, at least two. And Muhammad actually stole this word. This word is not an Arabic word. It's an Aramaic Hebrew word, especially the Hebrew. Echad, right? Like it has been used in Deuteronomy 6.4. Right? Hear, O Israel, the Shema, the very famous, beautiful Shema. Hear, Shema Israel. Hear, O Israel. Yahweh is our God. Yahweh is one. Echad, Ahad, Echad. Do you see it? It's unified. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Actually, the Shema, guys, means Lord, Lord, Lord. 
Echad, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Actually, Echad, not Yahid. Yahid is like Wahid, the numeric one, right? Wahid, Yahid. Guys, let me type it out for you. Means the number one, right? But Ahad, Echad, is compound unity, unified, right? Unification of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as one. So Allah, we know it's Muhammad who fabricated this ayah. He actually stole this from the Bible, from Deuteronomy 6, as we mentioned. And he wanted to, you know, tell you, hey, look, this is the same God, man. But here, when Muslims talk about Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, you are actually showing us in the Quran that Allah is one of many, at least two. Uh oh. Did Christian plans lie? CP, it doesn't say that, CP. Oh. Uh -huh. Really? And the word Samad that Christian Prince again mentioned, the word Samad, is another Hebrew word. Watch. This is the same word, Samad. It's a couple, a pair. Samad. This is the Bible, guys. <laughs> a couple, a pair. <laughs> Samad. Do you see it, Muhammad? Again, stealing non-Arabic words. Samad, there are millions of tafsir, millions of <laughs> explanation from Muslim scholars to explain the word Samad. Because it's not an Arabic word. A team, guys, a team. Together. Two. Pair. Pairs. Couple. Uh-oh. A-team, guys, A-team. The A-team, brother. A-team, brother. It's A-team. So Allah is a team of gods, brother. Allah is a team of gods. Allah is unified with many gods, at least two. Allah is somewhat solid idol. A team of solid idols. There are tons of explanations for this word of Sama because it's not an Arabic word, brother. So scholars of Muslims, right? Scholars of Islam need to guess tons and tons of different meanings for just one word. <laughs> Why? Because it's an Aramaic Hebrew word. Donkeys. Fifi, you're a donkey. You're sending this poor Zakia or Zaki or whatever his name is to get slaughtered by Christian Prince and Christian Prince is eating him alive he's eating him alive man Allah have a son Poor guy. you don't have a girlfriend read it chapter uh, 6 verse 101 uh, my laptop is gonna die so can I just go charge it and I'll call you back before you go does it say without having a girlfriend where? Chapter 6, verse 101. How can he have a child when there is for him no consort? Okay, consort, exactly. Yeah, he's, he's talking about um, the, 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 the people. Um, they, they, they thought that they, they needed... Um, they, he uses their, uh, their, their, their mindset. No, hold on. But those people don't believe that Allah have sex and he have a son. None of them. Neither the Christians believe that God have a son because have sex with Mary. Neither the pagan Arab, neither the pagan Arab believe that uh, the, the, their God have sex with uh, with who? What is the name? What is the name of the wife of Allah? Talk about uh, Christian here. What is the name? Okay, you are talking. Thank you, guys. He said he is talking about the Christian. Okay, do the Christian believe that God? No, I said I said it does not talk about Christian. No problem. It's talking about who? About the pagan? About uh, yeah, there's so many uh, uh, people who believe. My that friend, okay. Have... Allah, He said, there's no way for him to have a son unless he have a wife. Correct? Yes. All right. Now. No, no, no I did not say that. The Quran says that she's not a wife, a girlfriend. Uh, God can do anything. 
No, he said clearly he cannot. He says, how can he? Yes, how can he? Like okay. Using our logic. Okay, he is using our logic. How can he? Using our logic. That's wonderful. What is our logic? Be, uh, like, human think that you, uh, people Thank need you very a much. life to make so a So Allah, Allah, so here, Allah here being he stupid because he is using my logic to explain himself. Because if Allah is God, he can do everything. So he should not use my logic to explain what he can do, what he cannot do not. Because he is God. This is the purpose of him being God, supposedly. God, he can do everything. So you don't say to me how I can have a son, don't have a girlfriend. That's mean he did lie. Because Jesus, the son of Mary, his mother, she didn't have a husband, correct? Yes. Okay, using our logic, Jesus, how Jesus, he can have a... Uh, how Jesus can exist and he have no father? Miracle. Uh -huh. So isn't it God? Can he do miracle or not? Your God saying, yes. no, I cannot do miracle. No, he said that. He said how he can have a son. Yes, because he's not a human. Okay, let me ask you. The, did your the God... Christians believe that God is a man. Okay, did your God... He said, the did, Bible did, says that okay, did God your, is not a man, but Christians believe that God is a man. Okay, let me ask you. Did your God Allah, he said, if I want to have sex with a female, I will take it from our kind? What? Did your God Allah said, if I want to take a partner, a girlfriend, I will take it, I will take that partner from our self. What, what do you mean? A partner for sex. God has sex? Your God. Not my God. Maybe that Christianity, not Islam. Okay. Sorry. What if I show you the interpretation? What you would do? You will not find it. Okay. Is that uh, something no, Fifi told Muslim you, or this is your own? Will say that God had sexual intercourse. All right. Let us see. Well, it doesn't. I mean, you see, you you want the Quran to say Allah have sex intercourse? That's not what I'm saying. Your God, Allah, saying, if we want to have a partner, women for sex. We will take it from ourselves. Did he say that or not? If he wants to have a son, he chooses a son from him. From him. Okay, him who? But I thought Allah he is never one. did that. I thought Allah is one. How him? How Allah will choose a son from him? If, uh, uh, from the, 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 the angels. Okay, from the angels. But it says in the Quran, it says from ourselves. Is the angels is one of Allah kind? Are you saying that Allah himself is an angel? Because when you say from ourself, that means he's one of them. Uh, when, when, when the, the female. So he said, if we want to take a lahu, lahu is a female woman. If we want to take a woman for fun, uh, for sex, we will take it from ourself. Min ladunna in kunna fa'ilin. So if we want to take it from ourselves, we will take it from our. If we take a woman, we will take it from ourselves. Okay, how you say from ourselves if they are not from ourselves? When I say ourselves, that's mean me and people like me. We are a group, right? Because we're talking about taking a partner in the bed. I'm not talking about, because if I'm talking about we as a majestic as you said. But he cannot be because this is this is mean he will have sex with himself. He's here talking about taking a partner, correct? If if he if he desired no problem, forget about he desire or not. But he is saying if we want to take a partner, we will take that partner from ourselves. So it can guys, I wanted to add something. The thing here is, if we go to chapter, I believe this is 21, uh, if I'm not mistaken, chapter 21, 17. And you, as you see, guys, here's the, the, the ayah, right? It's talking about lahwan. Lahwan, guys, is an Arabic word. It means a sex partner. And it's talking about ourselves. Ourselves does not mean angel. Ourself, when Allah says ourselves, he means other gods like him. Ourselves. Again, ourselves. Not an alien, not an angel, not a human, not a huri. Ourselves. Allah is the one speaking, right? Ourselves means me, I, my kind. What is the kind of Allah? The kind of Allah is God. 
we have angels, we have huris, we have mankind, we have animals. But when Allah says ourselves, that means from His kind. That means we have many gods in Islam, like Allah. How do you even dare Muslims to say that Islam is a monotheistic religion? When Allah Himself is talking about ourselves, our kind, that means there are many gods in Islam. Thank you very much, brother. Let me play the video. Fifi. CP doesn't say that, CP. Lahwan, sex partner of Allah. Allah is sex partners and ourselves, brother. Cannot be himself anymore because talking about a partner and she is a female. That's wonderful. So it's a female and that female from ourself. How this female can be from ourself if Allah is one and there's nothing like him? How she can be going under the bracket of ourself? <laughs> No, no, you're misunderstanding. Hmm. It says if he wanted a son, he would choose like a, a, an angel or, or my friend, a, a, my friend, my friend. Like that. You see, the Muslim, and, okay, a, a son. no problem. You see, the Muslim are doing their best to defend the stupidity of the Quran, but the word in Arabic is lahwan, and lahu mean female. Female, you can open, go right now, read interpretation. Lahu mean female, so it's a female, he will take her. As what? As a partner. And he chose the word lahu. He did not choose the word women because it's a female for fun, which means for sex. So in if we want to take a female for sex, we will take from ourselves. So this female is from ourself. How ourself can be my creation? Unless I created myself and I created ourself and myself is many. I don't know. Hmm. But think about it. I, I, I appreciate your honesty. When Allah, he said, we're going to take this woman from ourselves, And he called this woman. He did not say from people I created. He did not say from people I desire. No, he said ourself. Ourself is our kind. You see, when I when you say uh, ourself to you and Obviously, there's many like me, not only alone. And whoever those many, they are the, from my family, maybe. You know, we are from the same kind, the same ethnic, the same tribe, etc. So, guys, it is what it is. You see how, how Christian Prince ate him alive? Fifi sent this Zakia boy, or Zaki, whatever his name is, and CP ate him without chewing, man. This is horrible. This is devastating. Lahuan, ourselves, Allah. Who are the ourselves? Certainly not the angels, because angels are not God. You claim to be God. Lahuan, female sex partner, ourselves. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Muslims. I actually have really high hope for this Muslim guy who called CP, you know. You know, I really have high hope for this Zaki or Zakia, whatever his name is, to leave this cult, this pagan cult. I really, guys, pray for this person. He sounds like a sincere guy, you know. He, he thought that he learned from Fifi, watching Fifi's video, he thought, hey, I finally have weapons to go and call, and I have the courage now to call Christian Prince, and I'm going to spam Christian Prince for everybody to see, you know, because Fifi said so. Fifi, learn me how to do it, bro. This is how we do it, right, Fifi? So this guy watched a couple of videos, and he thought, hey, let me call Christian Prince, and Christian Prince ate him with skin and bones. He ate him alive, man. This was horrible, man. This, uh, even for me, guys, as a Christian, I, I, this is not funny anymore, man. This is not funny anymore. Christian Prince was spanking him left and right, man. Why are you sending your boyfriends, your kids, Fifi? Why don't you call yourself? This is not funny anymore, man. Why are you not calling? You claim to be the number one expert of hadith, right? 
You claim to be a, uh, the guy who can spank Christian prince and other Christians. Why are you not calling? Show everybody life on air that you are not a liar. Show everybody what kind of liar Christian prince is. CP doesn't say that, CP. <laughs> Lord have mercy. This is really not funny anymore, guys. Islam, guys, in 2020, Islam is a meme. Islam is not to be taken seriously anymore. It's a meme. Islam is a meme in 2020, man. Where are the Muslims, man? Call us, man. We are live. We are live on air. My Skype is open. Call me, man. Where is Fifi when you need it? We have almost 200 people watching, man. Where are the Muslims, man? Why I'm not receiving any calls, man? How can you take Islam seriously anymore in 2020 when Allah himself is saying that there are ourselves? Who is ourselves, man? Allah, how many are like you? You want to have a sex partner? You can have a sex partner. Lahwan. Ourselves, brother. Suddenly, ourselves became Huri. Suddenly, Jibreel. Are you saying that Allah will have sex with Jibreel? If ourselves mean the angels. Muslims, Muslims. If ourselves means angels. Are you telling me Allah will have sex with Jibreel? Is Allah going to have sex with Jibreel? You heard him, you heard Zaki, he said, it's about the angels, brother. Allah is going to do bang bang to Jibreel, brother. Oh man. No, it says ourselves. Ourselves mean our kind. When Allah is talking, he's talking about other gods. If I would have said, from, I, Rob Christian, would have said from ourselves, that means another human like me. When Jibreel is talking, he will mean by ourselves angels like him. But here Allah is the one talking, right? Allah is the one saying ourselves. So that means there are different gods like Allah who Allah will have sex with. And especially Lawan, it's talking about a goddesses, a sexual partner in the shape of a goddess, a female god like Allah. That's the definition of ourselves. In this case, so ourselves means a female goddess like Allah, right? That Allah will have sex with ourselves, brother. Do you have any Muslims, guys? <clears throat> I hope you are benefiting from this, guys. And yesterday's debate, man, I, you know, I could not even laugh anymore. In the beginning, I was laughing, but then it turned to be, uh, you know, it's a, it was a cannibal fe festival. Fe fe uh, you know, Christian Prince was, was eating him, man. It was not even funny anymore watching this, man. Why are you sending us kids, man? Why are you sending us ultimate shirk? Wanna be Muslim, Sunni. He's a Rashad Khalifa boy. I want real Muslims. I'm hungry, man. Or maybe you can spank me. Maybe you can spank Christian Prince. Send me the real scholars. Send me Fifi, who, who claims to be a hadith expert, brother. Send me Mimi, maybe Lili, who doesn't know even know Arabic, a Kurd, who doesn't know Arabic. We glorify Jesus more than you, Christian said Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa, you do glorifications. You are doing tasbih to Isa more than us, brother. Glorifications in Arabic means this tasbih. Ali Dawa. You are glorifying Jesus more than us, brother. <laughs> Guys, have you seen that video? I want to play that video and let's see. Hopefully we'll have a Muslim who will call us. Today we are out of Muslims who do not dare to call me. Why? Where is the Muslim who thinks like Zakia that you can spank us? Where are you? Why are you hiding in the bushes, brother? Where are you, man? We are alive.
alive. Finally, we are alive. Brother, Lord have mercy. Watch this. Dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do. Dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Let me scroll back. Guys, I can't stop playing this video. You know, I, mean, I, I really played this video like more than 10 times already. But you know, this is a really big bust. Guys, pay attention what Ali Dawa, the nurse of Muhammad Hijab, is saying. Pay attention. He shall glorify me. I dare you. I challenge you. He's challenging. A single religion. Put Islam to a side. That glorifies Jesus like we do. That glorifies Jesus like we do. You Muslims glorify Jesus? <laughs> you Muslims glorify Jesus? When did that happen? I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side. You filthy liar. That glorifies Jesus like we do. Okay, now. <laughs> Ah, oh, you glorify Jesus more than us. Yeah, right. Glorification in Islam, guys. The Arabic word is tasbih. When we ask Muslims, when you say glory to Allah, what do you say? You say, Subhan. Right? Subhanallah. But wait. Wait, are you saying that you are doing the same tasbih, the same glorification to Isa, brother? Uh oh no not praise glory glory praise is hamd right praise is hamd that's also for Allah Allah, Allah alone but tasbih is also only for Allah and Allah alone right glory so how did things that are only attributed to Allah how did according to Ali Christian Ali Christian that day Ali Dawah became Ali Christian. How can you claim that you are doing tasbih for Jesus more than Christians, brother? You, you are a mushrik. You are a mushrik like the Christians, uh, Ali Dawah. Ali Dawah, you became a mushrik like the Christians, man, that you are attacking. You hypocrite, munafiq, murtad. You became an apostate, you left Islam that day on Speaker's Corner and you became a Christian when you said you do tasbih more to Jesus than all the Christians together. And look guys, imagine, guys, guys, look, here we have a Muslim, right? One Muslim, Muslim number two, Muslim number three. If I was a Muslim watching this, Muslim, Muslim number two, three, four, five, many, right? If I was a Muslim, I would have grabbed Ali Dawah by his beard, by this beautiful beard of his, and I would drag him on the floor of London Speaker's Corner, drag him by his Salafi beard, and make him repent in front of everybody for saying, we Muslims glorify Jesus more than you do. What did he say? I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do. Dare you, I challenge you religion put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do you do tasbih more Jesus than us Christians than you do we Christians thank you for becoming an ex-Muslim and becoming a Christian like me who is glorifying Jesus thank you Ali Dawah why is this Muslim not grabbing him raising his hand and grabbing him by his beard Muslims actually don't listen they don't listen no, R.C. He didn't say that, R.C. <laughs> Guys, um, it is what it is. I hope you benefited from today's live show, guys. I really do. Don't forget to subscribe. Destroy that like button, guys. Help me to help you. And click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live again 
And uh, Mr. Fifi, next time don't send your boyfriends to be slaughtered like sheep by Christian prince. You sent the poor Zaki or Zeki guy to get slaughtered. And Christian prince ate him alive with skin and bones and all. Fifi, if you call yourself a man, don't send your boyfriends to be eaten alive. You must call, not your boyfriends who have no clue what they're talking about. All right? Muslims. Next time, let the heroes of Islam call. Don't send us the sheep to be slaughtered. Guys, thank you for watching. Islam is nothing but a pagan religion. Muhammad is a scam. Jesus is Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord, including you Muslims. It's not too late to, call, to leave Islam. Drop Muhammad because he's nothing but a scam. Fake prophet. Come back home to your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from today's teaching. Lord willing, we will see each other again in another future live show like today. Thank you for watching. God bless you and God bless your families. See you. God bless.